Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. My name is Sarah Hoover, and I'm the Metadata and Scholarly Publishing Librarian at Himmelfarb. Today, we'll be briefly talking about how to curate your ORCID profile. Let's get started. During today's session, we will cover the following topics. First, we will describe an ORCID account and discuss the potential benefits associated with having a well-curated profile. We'll then provide a brief overview of how to create and curate your ORCID. Next, we'll discuss the ORCID integration with the NCBI platform and describe uses for an NIH or NSF biosketch. And lastly, we'll describe additional GW support resources and services. So what is an ORCID? ORCID stands for Open Researcher and Contributor Identifier. When curated effectively, your ORCID can be a powerful tool for distinguishing your research from that of other researchers and for enhancing the visibility of your scholarship. ORCIDs are free, globally unique, and non-proprietary identifiers that can interface with systems like research databases, grant award systems, and publisher portals. Unlike many researcher profiles, ORCID profiles are currently not algorithmically generated which means that the individual researcher is responsible for both acquiring and curating their profile. ORCID profiles are increasingly required by both funders and journal publishers to ensure compliance. But more importantly, an ORCID profile can help to reduce the administrative burden associated with the research process by allowing researchers to aggregate information in a single location. ORCID profiles are also an increasingly common source for algorithmically generated researcher profiles. So a well-curated ORCID can help to ensure accuracy. For those with common names, an ORCID can help to differentiate your work from others with the same name. For researchers with name changes, an ORCID can help to centralize research output. An ORCID can also effectively provide institutional access to your research output to ensure that you get credit for your scholarship. So how do you quickly and effectively create and use an ORCID profile? First, start by registering for an ORCID account at orchid.org backslash register. Next, GW researchers can connect their ORCID to GW. Third, you should curate your ORCID by adding employment, education, professional activities, and works to your profile. Fourth, Utilize your ORCID when submitting publications and applying for grants to reduce some tasks associated with data entry. Lastly, get help by using library resources and other support services if needed. We'll now go through each of these steps in greater detail. To register for an ORCID profile, go to orchid.org backslash register and complete the brief registration form. We advise including a non-institutional email address to ensure that you retain access to your profile in the event that you change institutions. It is also possible to connect your ORCID to GW when registering for an account or to connect your existing account to GW. By making GW a trusted party, the institution gains read-only access to information that you have designated as trusted within your account. It is important to note that when linking your ORCID, GW will not have the ability to update or change any information in your profile. Going forward, it is possible that institutional verification of affiliations and research output may become a stronger feature of the scholarship ecosystem. Thus, linking may become beneficial. Once you have created an ORCID profile, it is best to begin the curation process by adding your education and employment information. Click on the Add button next to Employment or Education and Qualifications to manually add this information. Including current employment information and ensuring that this information is viewable by everyone when possible is an important step for distinguishing your profile from other researchers. Under Education and Qualifications, list professional certifications as well as professional degrees. Your ORCID can also be a valuable space for tracking professional activities and funding. Adding peer reviewer activity under your professional activities can be a great way to track those contributions to your field. Perhaps the most important element of your ORCID is the work section. To add publications, 
you can link to a publication indexing platform such as Scopus, import publication information via the DOI or PubMed ID, or import a list of publications from Google Scholar via a Bibtex import. To link your profile to Scopus, click on the Add button on the Work section, and then click on Search and Link. Select Scopus from the drop-down menu, and then Scopus indexed publications will be added automatically upon publication. An email verification is sent to ensure the accuracy of added publications. For non-indexed items such as conference posters, you can also manually add information. Once again, when possible, set the view preferences to everyone to ensure to the disambiguation between your profile and the profiles of others with the same name. One great feature of having an ORCID account is the ability to link to the NCBI platform in order to populate information for an NIH or NSF biosketch. When logged into your NCBI account, start by going to the Account Settings link under the Account Information in the top right-hand navigation. Go to the section for Linked Accounts and click the Add Account button to link your ORCID account to the NCBI platform. To use your ORCID profile to populate a biosketch, start by going to the Science CV section of your NCBI account. Click on the Manage Science CV link and create a new document. Under Format, select the type of biosketch you would like to create, and then in the Choose Data Source selection, click the External Source section and select ORCID. In the Citation section, click the ORCID tab and check the boxes in the left-hand navigation to add specific publications to your biosketch. If you are a GW researcher and would like additional help with your ORCID profile, there are a number of options. For students and faculty associated with the School of Medicine and Health Sciences, the School of Public Health, and the School of Nursing, additional support can be provided via the ORCID Profile Evaluation Service. On the Himmelfarb Library homepage, Go to the Services tab in the upper navigation and click on Author Services from Himmelfarb. Click on the ORCID Profile Evaluations tab and complete the ORCID Profile Evaluation form for recommendations related to improving your ORCID profile. GW also provides a number of additional resources for researchers seeking assistance with curating their researcher profiles. Information about additional services, such as the full researcher profile audit service, can be found as part of the Himmelfarb Scholarly Communications video tutorial series. The Himmelfarb Scholarly Publishing Research Guide also provides additional information about ORCID and other researcher profiles in the associated tab. In summary, here are a few tips for creating and curating your ORCID profile. Set viewing preferences to everyone whenever possible to assist with disambiguation and to ensure research output visibility. Link to external sources such as Scopus when possible for automated updates. Use the BibText import if you have a well-curated Google Scholar profile. Add missing records individually via a DOI or PubMed ID import. Add entries for items such as conference posters, etc. manually and include a link to the full text resource whenever possible. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Curating Your ORCID Profile. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please visit our video library where you can also find the associated slides. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session or have questions specific to your own research, don't hesitate to contact us. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications Team, Thank you for listening.